everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDi.com and I want to welcome you to this week's Whatcha Making Wednesdays. So if you, truth be known, if you want to know what I'm really making, it's a mess. I have cardstock flying, ribbon flying, die cuts, you name it going on in the studio. I was so tempted to just set the camera up and just let you watch while I'm I'm doing all this stuff. <clears throat> and I thought, oh, then I can make it go fast like I do my quick videos. And then I was like, oh, you don't want to see all this stuff. So anyways, so um, the Over the Border Spring Social is coming up on the 27th. So basically that's going on now, right? Um, get all, all that stuff done and packaged up and just, you know, things you forget about that, like you go, oh yeah, I gotta do this, or oh yeah, you know, gotta do that. So that's really what's going on. So I was going to come up with a different card. I pulled out a couple of stamp sets, and then I was like, oh my gosh, as I kept watching the clock. So what I end up doing, I'm going to actually do um, one of the cards that was in the class in the mail. Hey Barbara, hi Anne. Um, for um, my kangaroo class. So I'm just gonna do one of those because it's super cute. And then um, my my brain just won't have to have to think. So so hopefully um, you will forgive me that it's not like a brand new card to me, but it it might be a brand new card. Um, for you if you didn't do the class. So, hi Mary. Okay, so um, let me get started. So I'm gonna turn the camera, flip it around. Hi Sherry. All right, so let's see, that looks good. All right, so I always have to mention the host code. So this is March's hostess code. Um, and this is what you'll use when you're ordering in my store. Now, if you saw the live last night, we had our first giveaway for my countdown to 900K. We had our very first um, drawing. And look at where we are already today. So we are close to drawing a second time. So make sure um, if you are placing an order, you know, and if you have any questions beforehand, make sure um, you let me know. But every time you place an order, you're you're gonna get a your name's gonna go in the hat. If you order a hundred before tax and shipping, your name will go in two times. And it's not a hat; it's a bucket. I keep saying hat, <clears throat> but it's actually a bucket that your names are all going in. So anyway, so it was exciting. Jackie was the one that um, won the first one, and she actually. Um, she's been a customer for quite a while and she's actually local. Um, so that worked out for her. So she, she was able to just come and pick hers up. So that worked out for both of us. All right. So let me show you what I'm going to be using today. So we have kangaroo and company. So that's the stamp set that I'm going to be using. And it has the cute little die. I'm also going to be using the Tasteful Textures Embossing Folder. It is amazing. And it just adds almost like um, canvas. It makes me think of canvas. Um, so what would be really cool, here, like I'll show you. Where's my card pieces? All right. So here is what it looks like on the cardstock. So hopefully you can see that texture. Hi, Raquel. Um, so, so there you can kind of see it, but it does. It reminds me of um, canvas, or it also reminds me of what they do to the drywall in Arizona. It's like skip troweling or something like that, but that's what it kind of looks like too. But what looks really neat is if you finish your card and then run it through, it looks like you have painted on a canvas. Now you definitely have to do it afterwards. You wouldn't want to do this first and then stamp on it in color because your your stamp would not um, 
because of all the um, hills and valleys, it wouldn't stamp good, so you'd want to do it after. Hey, Stacy. Okay, so I'm also using, let's see here, Whisper White Thick is my card base or basic white. I know I'm going to forever say Whisper White, but you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, we have a new mill that makes our um, Whisper White cardstock. So now it's called a basic white. So I just have this and I just keep it in my catalog because it has the updated numbers. But now it's called basic white. But I'm an old dog. I've been around 22 years, so Whisper White just sticks in my head. All right. I'm also going to be using real red. And then there's that piece that I just showed you. Now ahead of time, I did stamp our little kangaroo. So she's going to go on here. I also want to stamp, let me get my greeting. See, I didn't even have my greeting. What the heck, Diana? All right, my mind is just not working. Okay, so hopping by just to say hi. So I'm putting that on my block. And I'm going to, oh, Stacy, thank you for sharing. Okay, so I'm going to stamp it with the craft pad. Now, if you want, you could emboss this, but I'm just going to stamp it on there and let it air dry. And I have an ink refill on its way. All right, so see, I love it on the black because you can just let it air dry and it's good to go. You don't have to emboss it. All right, so usually if I'm not going to emboss my white, I do it on the black, then I don't have to worry about it. All right. Oh, I know, this poor kangaroo, she's probably like, please, just, just let me rest, will you? All right, so then we're going to color our kangaroo. So I do apologize. I didn't do the card I was going to. So um, I could be stressing a little bit, all the work I have to do. Could be, could be. All right, so this is... Dark Smoky Slate. So we are going to make our kangaroo. She's going to be gray. I did love the one that I did in blue. She was super cute done in blue. And a lot of people commented how cute she was in blue. Actually, we were calling her a boy, weren't we, when I did it in blue. All right. But this is the Dark Smoky slate, and I'm just going around my edges under the tail. You know me, and going under the tail. But I could not share with you today because it's Wednesday. But I should, for fun, sometimes just set the camera up and let it just, or my webcam, and just kind of let it um, videotape while I'm doing stuff and then like speed it up and then just like share it. Now I would have to remember, you know, that that was running. and I wouldn't be picking my nose or something like that, but just like the day, one day in the life, right? All right. So this is, what did I do? This is the dark gray granite and I'm just coming in with it. I need, I used to have wear one of those watches that told you your steps, but I don't know if I necessarily get a whole lot of steps because it's a lot of standing, but I do go back and forth, I guess, between the, the die cutting machine and paper cutter and all that kind of stuff, but all right. So this again was the dark gray granite and then I'm going to use the light gray granite finish coloring her in and I didn't even give her a pink cheek just because she's kind of um, dark and it's a little hard to see so I didn't even give her a flirty cheek, but I will give her a little flirty ear. 
All right, let me turn that around. So yeah, this poor kangaroo. She has been pretty popular with me lately. But she's cute and she's fun. And you want to get her while you can. You don't know if we'll have her. We'll be getting the new catalog soon. Speaking of which, you want to make sure if you want a new catalog from me, you need to make sure that you have ordered from me recently. And you want to have ordered at least 50 before tax and shipping the last six months. If you have it, you still have time. Um, but we will be placing our orders for the new catalogs. And that's the new main annual one is coming out before you know it. Um, but I have to do my customer selector. This was flirty, light flirty flamingo. Um, so you definitely um, want to make sure you place an order. Because if you don't, then I just assume you're not stamping anymore or you are stamping with another demonstrator and you'll be getting your catalog from them. So that's basically why I always say, you know, you need to place an order. Because you don't need two catalogs and the catalogs and the um, postage aren't free. And postage keeps going up. So basically, I just appreciate in order. Okay, so there we have the cute little kangaroo. I'm also doing the hearts. So, and just like the heart card I did a while ago, it doesn't mean it has to be Valentine's, right? We love people all year long. So, so this is light soft suede and i am just coloring the hearts i'm leaving the white area i mean there could be hearts there too it could be a whole jumbly but i like the look of leaving some white space in there so i'm doing that so this is the light soft suede and then since i used Real Red cardstock. I'm going to be using Real Red Stampin' Blends. So, oh, and you know what I need to do? Let me turn this light on for Pete's sake. There, hopefully that helps. All right, did that make it brighter? Who knows? Half the time the phone's in the way. All right, so now this is the dark Real Red. Let me see. Let me go down here so I can see better, and hopefully you can too. I think I need to go get new glasses because I don't think I'm seeing as well as I used to. And then Jeff said the same thing the other day. And, you know, we didn't go anywhere last year. We didn't do our annual eye exam. So... We both might need new glasses. And I already wear trifocals. I always tell them, what comes after trifocal? I mean, quadruple focal? I don't know. But, all right. So this is the dark, real red. And then I'll finish it with the light, real red. So, um... If, if you're new, make sure you say hi. Even if you've been around a while, let me know where you're here. I glance up once in a while. I get forgetting to do that. So if I ever miss a comment or a question especially, you know, always repeat the question. All right, let's see here. So this is the light. Real red. So I've been um, watching Shit's Creek over and over and over and over and over. I mean, I've probably seen it 20 times. 
so my TV just tapes it all the time. So that's usually what I have on while I'm, you know, cutting and stuff because I don't have to think to watch. I mean, I don't have to watch it to know what's going on. Um, but new glasses get it was spent our stimulus check on. Oh, we had to spend hours on something for the heater. I can't remember now what it was. Um, coils or something. As soon as we got our um, stimulus check, the heater went out. And that's what it was. The same amount was that coil. And I was like, oh my gosh. And in my mind, I'm thinking, boy, that coil is expensive. Thinking like a little coil, you know, like a phone coil or whatever. It was practically the size of the air conditioner unit. I'm like, no wonder it was so expensive. Okay, so what I did was I just took, um, now these I just get on Amazon. I know I, I say that each time. And um, because we don't have them in the catalog. But it just adds a little highlight. Look how cute it is on the heart. It just adds some some white to there. I have them on my desk. I use them for everything. All right, so I'm going to slide that off of there so it can dry good. All right, so let's put our card together. So we are going to, now this card was inspired by Andrea Walford. This is where I got the inspiration for her, for this card. Hers was a little bit different, but it, but that's where I got the idea. So that's why I'm saying where it was inspired by. Okay, so this is just the real red right on there. Then I'm going to take this right here. So this is just a stitched shape with pool party. And we are going to glue it on here. And we're going to glue it off. So what I usually do, I think I've showed you this before. Where is my brush? Hold on. Here it is. In my little thing. All right. So when I do my die cutting, like especially right now, I mean, I have like stacks, like stacks of die cuts that I'm doing. So what I do is I get them all done and then I stack them up. Like I don't do one at a time. So you'll have a big stack. And then I take my brush. And then what I do is I just brush the edges and you could all, all you know, I didn't do it to this one, obviously. And look at all the little pieces. So can you see like all the little pieces of paper that, you know, flick off of there? So I do the same, but what I would do is wait till you get, if you're doing 10, 20, 30, 100, however many, get the stack done and then just take your brush and it will take all the heathery pieces of feathery, whatever you want to call it, the hairs of paper off of the dye. Because no matter if it's a brand new dye or if it's a dye you've used a thousand times, it's still going through layers of paper and... It's, it still does that. So, you know, you don't think anything's coming off. But if you look careful, there's like little tiny pieces of paper everywhere. All right. So there might have been a tip for the day. I always try to have some sort of tip. Whether you've heard it or not before. Maybe it just jogs your memory. Maybe it was brand spanking new. All right. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put my circle right here. So it's hanging off the sides. Oh, you are so sweet, you two. Okay, um, you can all color just as beautiful. All right, so here we go. Then flip it over and I'm cutting that off. So now that circle is off the side of the card. Then we're going to Attach this to our card base. So again, this was the basic white thick. All right, then let's get our little kangaroo over here. And she's going to go on here. Before we glue her, we are going to take her hearts. And remember I showed you on the die before? It cuts. Let me stick my scissor in there so you can see. See that? There's a hole. So um, it cuts this hole there so you can stick the things in there. Oh, I love to color, even as a kid. 
But I think mostly what I did in kindergarten was sleep. And play in the sandbox that I couldn't get over. There was a sandbox inside. That's the only thing I really remember about kindergarten, which is probably not a good thing. All right, so we have our hearts. And I want to take a glue dot. So I'm just going to take a glue dot. And we are going to put the glue dot there so that the hearts stay. Then we're going to put um, dimensionals. So she's going to be on the card with dimensionals. I'm trying to think what else I remember about school. I remember I had to sing. I had a stand beside one of the boys in school. And I can't think what his name was. Either there was a Terry Steeper or a Terry Lewis. I can't remember which. Or it could be like totally wrong with the name. But I had a sing in their ear. So I think I used to have a good voice. All right. So then she's just going to stand right here. Then we have our greeting. So it will be good in It'll be good and dry. So all I'm doing is cutting with my scissors. Now you could use a fancy die if you wanted to, but we're just going fast today. So if you haven't signed up for my March class in the mail, don't forget to do that. It will be this one. It's the March class in the mail, which is the True Love DSP. So in the United States only, so it's 55 in the USA, you'll get your 12 by 12 um, DSP. We're doing six different cards. You'll get your opal rounds. Now, um, and you'll have to use the blends that you have at home or whatever um, coloring um, things that you have at home. And... Um, so you'll be getting your 12 by 12. So it's going to be cut for the six cards, but the remainder of the DSP that we don't use for class will be cut down into six by six, and then you'll get the remainders like in the in your class packet, okay? Um, if you are a member of my stamp team, levels one through three, you um, can get the, cl the class um, supplies only and and that's 35 so um and that just means like they'll just get um the supplies just for the six cards they don't get the extra dsp and they don't get the opal rounds because they will order them from themselves you know instead of ordering them from me so you want to make sure that you sign up for this class before the 15th so you just have five days um to to sign up for this, okay? So, but anyways, because this this is one of the little cute little cards that they did for the class in the mail for, for February. All right. So I'm just putting a dimensional on here. And then that's just going to go right there. We are going to take one of the cute little matte black dots. Last I looked, these were still on back order. So just keep watching. Sometimes when things go on back order, you can still order them. Look how cute. Is it that I love putting that little nose on the kangaroo? Um, sometimes you can still order back order things and then they just come later. But um, sometimes Stampin' Up! will turn the number off. Hi, Jeannie. Um, sometimes that they will... Um, funny Raquel about... I took art and music. Those were my favorite. And home ec. I did enjoy home ec. Um, math, no. I still, to this... Like, I could still get the heebie-jeebies thinking about math. Because I am not... A mathematician. All right, so we're going to put these cute little resin hearts. So we're going to put one here. I just, math is not, and then I worked for an accountant for 10 years. Isn't that funny? But accounting is not the same. And, I mean, I can add with a calculator. And that's basically all I had to do. I wasn't doing tax returns. 
my old boss would just say, you know enough to be dangerous. Like, so I was never allowed to answer. Like, well, can this be deducted? Because I don't know. I'm not an accountant. So anyways, but math was not my thing. And it still isn't. All right. So there, look how cute. Isn't she adorable? I love these little resin dots. I sure hope that we keep them around because they're so handy. You get, you get all these. So this was, I think this was the January incentive. I have a new incentive every month. Um, if you order 75 before tax and shipping. So I think January, there was the ink Santas. February were the opal rounds. March are the amazing, and I stuck them in this jar. So silly of me, but anyways, they're the flowers for every season gems. So I always have a different, um, and I just call them ink scented. Um, but, um, so anyways, but these are so fun. But what's neat is you can, like, so say you needed a heart that's a different color. All you do is take your um, Stampin' Blend. So this is, what is this one? Bermuda, light Bermuda. Let me get, um, where's the dark Bermuda? There we go, let me get the dark Bermuda. All right, so here's the dark Bermuda. And all you do is scoot your camera down. All right. So I'm just going to color on one of the white ones. So now we have a Bermuda heart. Super cute, right? So don't think, oh, I wish they had whatever, whatever. Now, look, now we have a Bermuda heart. So, so don't think you're just stuck with the red. And then if you were going to make, like, say you were going to do like a black one, I would probably color the red one if I was going to do a black one. Let me try a black one. Let me try a black one. So this is the black blend. This is a black on the red. Just because it, since it's already a dark heart, it's just going to, I think, cover better. Like you don't have to use as much ink because it's, um, so I might not do the black. There we go. I'm trying to get the angle. And then what you would want to do is go around the edges, right? You would want to go around the edges as well. Where's my, where's my Bermuda? That's the light one. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Just All right, let's see here. So see, I'm going around the edges. And that way you don't see the side. And then just let it dry, all right? And then this will just dry on there. But anyway, so you can change, change the color. All right, so there is the card. And then the inside, so here is the other one. So this one, I did emboss, you can see a little bit different. This is a little bit brighter. So I did emboss that one, but you can still see without. And then on the inside, I did the little um, kangaroo looking at the butterfly. So, super fun, super fun. All right, so there is, so that wasn't too long because it was fairly quick, um, but, um, oh, and I'm, sitting on my towel or my blankets all on the floor but um all right so hopefully you enjoyed that card and um if you need anything make sure um you go to my store and make sure you order i need to send that email out um in regards to um pre-ordering the the new catalog um like i talked about in the video so i need to get that sent out because we have till the end of the month. So it's only the 10th, but still it's flying by, right? Um, so I will see you tomorrow's Thursday. So I'm going to be work, work, work. So I don't do a live till Friday, which will be my dice shorts at two o'clock Arizona time, but that is in the Facebook. Okay. That's in the Facebook group. So if you're not a member of the Facebook group, hop on over there and, um, and join that.
So have a great night and um, thanks so much for, for joining me today. Um, we will um, talk to you Friday, okay? All right, bye-bye everybody.